As punishment for his trick on James, Thomas was sent back to work at the big station. He hated it. He fussed about with the trucks and coaches, not saying a word to anyone. Gordon and James kept a very watchful eye. Of all the engines to come through the big station, Thomas was surprised that he hadn't seen Henry. The big green engine had been helping on the other railway, but no one had thought to tell Thomas this. He became rather concerned. Even more disconcerting was the sight of another big green engine. We know this to be our friend Richard, the engine Henry had saved from scrap, but Thomas had never met Richard before. Where's Henry, he finally asked one day, and who is that? The trucks, who were tired of Thomas bumping them, saw a chance for mischief. We haven't seen Henry for ages, one said. Do you know what I think? What? asked Thomas hastily. I think, it went on ominously, that engine is an imposter, trying to take Henry's place without anyone noticing. Thomas was dismayed. How dare he, he fumed, thinking he could replace Henry. Well, well uh, I'll show him. Thomas pushed some coaches behind Richard, then quickly drew alongside. Oh, hello, smiled Richard. I'm... I know who you are, Thomas cut in. Oh, uh, oh, uh, well, well, good, smiled Richard. No need for introductions then, I suppose. Um, if it's not too much trouble, could you give me a push to help get the train started? Henry doesn't need a push, replied Thomas. Why should you? Not as strong as him. Richard was quite taken aback. Oh, oh, well, all right, um, sighed Richard as the guard's whistle blew. I, I, I'd best be off. Without Thomas pushing from behind, Richard struggled out of the station. Slowly he made his way down the line, as Thomas watched suspiciously. I don't understand it, Richard sighed in the shed that night. I've never seen him before, yet he acts as if I've wronged him somehow. My dear Richard, sympathized Gordon, don't waste your time and energy on little Thomas. He causes far too much trouble for his own good. No wonder the fat controller shot him away on that little branch line, agreed James. His attitude sometimes, it's... Oh, it's... No oh, disgraceful, began Gordon. Disgusting, added James. D -d -d deplorable asked Richard, not entirely certain of the word's meaning. Precisely, thundered Gordon. You have to be firm with him, Richard. Don't let him push you around. You demand the respect a tender engine deserves. Richard wasn't sure. That didn't sound like the right way to go about things. But Gordon and James knew Thomas better than he did. He decided to say nothing and went to sleep instead. Next morning, Richard arrived at the station where Thomas was waiting. Oh, so it's you, he sniffed. Back to try and fill some wheels too big for you? Richard frowned. N n now listen, you, he trembled. Uh, I, I won't stand for your cheek. Left's all right. I beg your pardon. You don't push me around, Richard rumbled with an uncharacteristic frown. I push you around. Now would you mind pushing my trucks around, uh, and, and then behind me?" Thomas was speechless. He fussed off to fetch the trucks. Richard felt awful. Gordon and James's words didn't feel right coming from him. He wanted to take it all back, but he didn't know where to start. Meanwhile, Thomas was lost in thought. He hardly focused on his work at all or the grumbling of the trucks as he banged them about. He was wondering what he would say to Richard when they next met.
From the platform, Richard heard a pair of whistles. Donald and Douglas were heading up the line with a long, heavy goods train. Then something else caught Richard's eye. Thomas was pushing a line of trucks towards the junction. Oh, stop, cried Richard, blowing his whistle furiously. Thomas snapped out of his trance at once and braked with all of his might. Stop, stop, he groaned. With a frightening screech, the trucks came to a halt just before the main line. Donald and Douglas thundered past, blowing angry whistles at Thomas. The poor tank engine was out of breath and speechless. Richard came over at once. Oh, are you all right there? I think so, panted Thomas. I'd have been in a sorry state if it weren't for you. Uh, and after I'd been so horrid. <laughs> well, it's, it's me who's been horrid. Uh, I should have never listened to Gordon and James. I'm sure Henry would have told me otherwise if he weren't away. You mean you're not here to replace Henry? <laughs> oh, goodness, no. <laughs> oh, Henry saved me. I wouldn't dream of replacing him. Phew. Oh, what a relief. <laughs> I think we need a proper introduction. I'm Thomas. Pleasure to meet... Well, uh, re-meet you, Thomas. I'm Richard. You know, said Thomas, I think you and I should come up with a way to teach Gordon and James a lesson. Ooh, chuckled Richard. I like the sound of that. <laughs> with very cheeky smiles, the engines went back to work. Whenever Gordon and James would see them together, they would be whispering and laughing. They did come up with a great plan indeed, but that's another story. <laughs>